interconnected ocean, a vast blue expanse critical to life on Earth. And there's no better animal to represent the story of the ocean with all its splendor and uncertainty than the killer whale, or as it's scientifically known, the Orsinus orca. The orca lives in every corner of the ocean, from the Arctic to the Atlantic, the Southern to the Indian, to the mighty and This world's story is the ocean's story, and it is one we all share. Every ocean. Orcas living off the coast of Iceland are quite different than those near Costa Rica. In fact, there are at least 10 types or ecotypes of killer whales. An ecotype describes the differences between killer whale size, physical form, prey, social structure, and habitat. As you can see, the differences are subtle, but noticeable when compared side by side. Orcas are adapted perfectly to their environments. And even the whale's black and white coloration has a purpose. It camouflages the outline of their bodies in the water, making it easier for them to surprise and catch their prey. with the dark depths of the ocean. When viewed from below, the orca's white bellies match the brighter surface of the water, blending with the light above, giving them the perfect camouflage. just before the white patch, camouflage from thrashing prey. The fin on top of the whale is called the dorsal fin and is used to stabilize them as they swim as well as regulates their body temperature.
The flippers on either side of the wheel are called the pectoral flippers and are mainly used for stopping and steering. The pectoral flippers have five OD digits inside of them, just like the human hand. <laughs> The lobes on either side of the tail are called the flukes. The tail flukes are the engine of the killer whale, propelling them up to speeds of 30 miles per hour, just as fast as some of our speedboats. And they swim the fastest and use the most power when propelling their nearly 10,000 pound bodies. Killer whales are highly social animals with a well-defined social structure. An orca pod is always led by a female. It's all about attitude, not size. Because they live and work as a group, orcas need to communicate with sounds and body language. Orcas use clicks for echolocation or navigation. whistles to socialize in the pond, and calls for group coordination and hunting. Local development studies here at SeaWorld show that early on, cats learn vocalization from their mothers. But as they grow, they learn from all noticed. For example, a mother might peck slap to get the attention of her cat. But when they really want to be heard, they breathe.
will catch his heels by pulling them right off the beach. Monitors the whale's heart rate and breathing 
To understand how marine noise pollution from ship engines and other sources affect wild populations. In another study, scientists from NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, by comparing these measurements with drone footage of other whales in the wild, scientists are able to monitor the wild and the all drawn way. And just by being here today, you've supported our risk and conservation efforts all around the world. If we work together, like the killer whale, we can protect the future of the Osan Zorba and this beautiful planet that we all share. Let's go, let's go.